What's going on, guys? It's Jimmy here. Welcome to our daily show where we discuss everything going on here in our country, in Washington, D.C., everything you need to know about on a daily basis, money, investing, the stock market, stimulus check update, fourth stimulus package update, and everything you need to know about on a daily basis. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, make sure to click the subscribe button right now so you don't miss out on new videos that come out here every day on our YouTube channel at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And also, thank you so much for hitting the like button for us down below as well. You guys are absolutely amazing. We got a lot to talk about here in this video, including hundreds of thousands of people that are going to be getting automatic stimulus checks sent out. We're going to be talking about that. Also, the House passes a major bill that we will be discussing in this video as well. And we got a lot to talk about here, so let's jump right in. The CDC says this morning that there are two dead from a listeria outbreak linked to dole salads. Here is the details that you need to know, know about in case you have any of this in your homes. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, said that two people have died from a listeria outbreak linked to Dole salad and that 17 more people were ill so far. 13 more people have been hospitalized, hospitalized and um, across 13 different states from this outbreak. So this is an ongoing investigation. The CDC has linked the outbreak to Dole salads that were sold under 11 different brand names. The brand names are, as you can see here on the screen, a hold Dole, H-E-B, Kroger, uh, Little, L-I-D-L, Little Salad Bar, Market Side, Naturally Better, Nature's Promise, President's Choice, Simply Nature uh, sold the mixed greens, Na uh, Garden Salads, Caesar Kits, and other salads linked to the illness, the agency said. The items under the recall, which recalled the items having best if used by dates, are under November 30th, 2021 to January 9th of this year. In the upper right-hand corner of the packages of the recalled items, the letters B, N, W, or Y will be the start of the product lot code, the CDC said. It is one of the two investigations of listeria outbreaks the agency is investigating. The other outbreak is linked to fresh expressed packaging salad. So this is an ongoing investigation. I will keep you up to date. Next up is... Senator Elizabeth Warren uh, speaking on the Build Back Better and stimulus provisions. Here we go. Item. Third item I just want to mention is Build Back Better. Uh, I'm sure many of you are wondering what's next for Build Back Better. And I'm not going to hide my frustration with where things are. We need to get as much out of that package across the finish line as we possibly can to make a difference in people's lives. We need to extend the child tax credit, which expired this month. We need to keep those payments coming to the 660,000 families right here in Massachusetts who depend on it for groceries and paying bills and diapers and making ends meet. Um, and we must invest in universal child care. I've said it all along, child care is infrastructure. We need roads and bridges for people to be able to get to work. We need to invest in child care so people can go to work. We need to invest in our child care providers, raise their wages so they have a living wage and can be in the profession they want to be in, and invest in our families. To say, if you've got children, we are here for each other. We all want to invest in our children's future. So powerfully important. We're going to be right back at work on whatever it's going to take to get Build Back Better across the finish line. Yeah, so Congress still trying to figure out a way to provide um, a path forward on several different stimulus items, the Build Back Better package and other packages that they're working on right now. Also, the House of Representatives passes a major bill. 
Watch this. Have all members voted? Does any member wish to change a vote? This is great. On this vote, the yeas are 222, the nays are 210. The bill is passed without objection. A motion to reconsider is laid upon the table. So the House of Representatives passes a sweeping China competition bill here in the House of Representatives. Here's the details. The House passed legislation on Friday today aimed at bolstering domestic supply chains here in the U.S. and scientific research to make the U.S. more competitive with nations like China. Lawmakers passed the bill largely among party lines, 222 to 210, with only one Republican voting for it and one Democratic voting no. Republican Adam Kinzinger, Republican from Illinois, backed the bill, authored numerous provisions related to boost, boosting supply chains, with one Democrat, uh, one Democrat voting no, said in the statement she voted to problematic poor vetting pr provisions. I'm really surprised that the Democrats, or I'm sorry, that the Republicans would vote no to a um, an anti- you know, or anti-China competition bill. I, I don't understand. I, I feel like this is just kind of one of the, uh, you know, the Republican blockade things where uh, this is kind of the problem going on right now where we see just kind of, uh, you know, the Republicans and the Democrats just, you know, not, not voting together in anything right now. Um, and, and we, we've seen Republicans say this where they don't want to give a, a win to the Democrats and they just kind of vote no on everything or most everything because they don't want to give a win to the Democrats, especially before the elections. But, I mean, how do you not vote yes on something like this? And, and they're just all voting together as parties. It's, uh, I don't know. In all fairness, the Democrats did do this as well when the Republicans controlled the House, the Senate, and the presidency back in 2017 and 2018. I just don't see how you don't vote for something like this here uh, as a country for the good of our country. Uh, but nonetheless, they passed it here in the House. Here's the thing, though. The passage of this bill comes about seven months after the Senate passed its own version back in June with the support of 18 Republican senators. Uh, the, the Senate seems to get some more bills passed with the support of Mitch McConnell. They get a little bit more bipartisan support there in the Senate. The House with Kevin McCarthy has, they just don't get any, almost any support there. Um, both chambers will now have to reconcile their competing versions and ultimately reach an agreement that can draw at least 10 Republicans in the uh, Senate since it will be subject to Senate rules requiring at least 60 votes with the filibuster. So they have passed a version now in the House and the Senate, but they'll have to pass a version in both chambers that is identical. So hopefully they can do that here pretty swiftly, because this, this is a pretty good bill for America. And remember, they've passed both a bipartisan version in the Senate and in the House, but they have to pass an identical version here to get it fully passed. Next up is Golden Rush, 139,000 automatic stimulus checks worth up to $1,200 going out now. See if you're eligible. I think it's really $1,100. Um, I think this is kind of a misprint. Um, I'll go over the details. And next, I want to show you my, uh, you can't make this stuff up here next. Uh, it's really an interesting story here. Uh, so stay for that because it's a yeah, really interesting story here coming up next. Um, but yeah, uh, 139,000 automatic stimulus checks just went out. And this is in relation to uh, the California state stimulus checks from the previous rounds. Uh, they're still going out, actually. 
So we thought that California stopped issuing stimulus checks by zip code, which they did, but they actually just issued another round of them, okay? Uh, it says that these stimulus checks worth up to, let me zoom this in a little bit here for you. Um, it says that they issued stimulus checks worth up to $1,200 and $1,100. I think it's only $1,100, okay? It's $1,100 for children. I, I don't know if they're $1,200 for any reason. I think it's just uh, $600 and $1,100. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, if there's $1,200 checks for some reason. Um, but apparently they just issued another 132000 or 139000 stimulus checks for uh, via mail and direct deposit here on January 28th. So these are people that kind of... Um, didn't get stimulus checks, and they kind of realized that uh, 139,000 people were still owed checks. Of this total, this includes 51,000 GSS-1 payments valued at more than $34 million and almost 88,000 GSS-2 payments, uh, Golden State Stimulus-2 payments valued at more than $65 million, uh, the affairs office said. So if you're missing stimulus payments for those, you might be in this batch that just uh, went out here uh, on the last few days here. So they're still sending those out here, actually. By the way, if you're missing your Golden State stimulus check from California and you didn't receive it, you can call them at either of these phone numbers here, 1-800-852-5711. And ask them where it is if you haven't received it, okay? Uh, or this other number, which is just a, a non-1-800 number. But the phone number, again, is 800-852-5711. Again, you would have had to file a state uh, tax return. And um, that would have been for 2020. And um, made under $75,000, okay? Okay. But if you want to call them and ask them uh, what's going on with it, you can call them and ask them about it. So uh, there's the phone number. Also, if you've been watching my show, there's a very good likelihood that there might be another one for California. California is just the largest state. There's about 27 million people uh, that got stimulus checks from California, um, which is like about 15 states combined. And we have like over 10 or 15 states that are considering or announcing new stimulus checks for 2022. And there's probably going to be a lot more here as well as budget surplus and stimulus money from the last stimulus package for states. Um, and even more are coming here for 2022. All states got over a billion dollars and all these states are flush with cash and um, are going to be doling, out, doling it out here in 2022. So I will keep you up to date, up to date with that. Okay, next up in our uh, newest episode of You Can't Make This Stuff Up, guess what kind of uh, popped up or was found here? Yeah, you're not going to believe it. Captain Cook's famous ship has just been discovered in America after 250 years of looking for it. That's right. Yeah, it was just discovered here and this was just breaking news. And uh, this is really a fantastic find here. Um, really just absolutely breaking, just, just <laughs> unbelievable news. Uh, if you know anything about Captain Cook, he was a world traveler. And I'll show you here an image. I don't know if this is an image of the ship because it's back from the 1700s. So this has got to be an image of what the ship would look like. But also here is an image of the route that Captain Cook traveled back in uh, the 1700s. He's also um, known for apparently maybe discovering Australia and New Zealand. And he was also killed in Hawaii. Yeah, by the, uh, the king of Hawaii back uh, back in the day under a uh, very controversial um, uh, mishap in Hawaii by the Hawaiians back in the day. And uh, there's actually a monument in Hawaii 
Here is a image of the Captain Cook monument on the big island of Hawaii, which is also named Hawaii. Um, me and my wife have actually been there before uh, and seen it. So, um, yeah, if you're ever on the big island of Hawaii, um, you can go see it, which is actually um, supposed to be the place where he was killed um, as a monument to him. Uh, he's a famous world traveler, and, um, yeah, it's a pretty interesting uh, monument. But, yeah, you can see here that the Captain James Cook ship, the HMS Endeavor, is found at the bottom of the ocean more than 250 years after it reached Australia. Here's why experts are sure that they solved the enduring mystery that it was just found in now. The HMS Endeavor has spent more than 200 years in the Newport Harbor in the U.S. Yeah, the ship was scuttled in U.S. water during the American War of Independence. A maritime archaeologist unearthed the shipwreck in Newport Harbor, Rhode Island, and it was just found now. U.S. experts involved in the discovery have since accused Australia of jumping the gun. There's some um, kind of controversy over whether it is or is not the HMS Endeavor, Captain James Cook's actual ship, but they uh, a lot of people say it is because it is the exact shape and size of the ship. Here are some more uh, pictures of them finding the ship down below in the, the wreckage. And um, some more of uh, them kind of going through the footage underneath. Yeah, super, super interesting. They say it's arguably one of the most important vessels in uh, maritime history. And I'm satisfied that this is the final resting place of one of the most important contentious vessels in maritime history. Based on archi archival and archaeological evidence, I'm convinced this is the endeavor. It's the most important historical moment as this vessel's role in exploration and uh, science applies not just to Australia, but also to New Zealand and the UK and the United States. Yeah, so let me know your thoughts. I also wonder if they'll find any old ancient gold, gold pieces, gold wreck, any cannons down there, or what type of interesting um, old archives, not necessarily paper or anything like that, but what they'll find down there in the wreckage, uh, what might be found uh, that might be a keepsake. So yeah, in today's episode of You Can't Make This Stuff Up, a uh, ancient find down uh, below in the uh, in the ancient waters. So pretty amazing. So make sure to subscribe down below. Click the subscribe button right now if you haven't yet. I will keep you up to date. It's completely free to do so. New videos come out here every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, what an interesting find. So, uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts here down below. Uh, you can click here to watch my newest video next. Or you can click here to see some breaking news that I just mentioned here also. Click on one of those videos next. Thanks, guys, and I will see you in the next video.